Start with Tennessee at Buffalo or in Orchard Park, New York. There's chance of showers. So this is because you know this is the first spot on the entire card where weather could play a factor. And we talked about last Tuesday how we expected weather to be a factor in the Bears Niners game, and we lit up and smoked that and cashed with that. This is another one we should keep an eye on and see if the weather continues to look bad on Monday in Buffalo. Let's take a look at the line history here for the double dip on Monday. Line history here. We opened with Tennessee plus 9.5. Tennessee's now 10-point dogs. From a side perspective, open with the under as a pick em. There's been an 11-cent move to 50. Uh, so it's minus 117, which means it's probably 49.5 at a bunch of books. And I think that's weather-related. I think that's whether really, or it's the weak wide receiving crew that the Titans have now. 7,792 tickets in, 68% of the tickets, 73% of the cash on the Bills, who are now 5-1 to one to win the Super Bowl. The total 72% of the tickets and 73% of cash on the under. Funny that it's moving a half point down to make it more appealing for people to bet the under. Uh, or Sorry, did I say under? Sorry, bet more appealing for people to bet the over. And that makes me want to move on the under immediately. But let's talk it out. Titans opened up their season with that disappointing 21-20 loss. At home to the Giants, uh, Bullock pushed that 47-yard field goal left. Tannehill, 20 of 33 for 266 yards, two touchdowns. Kyle Phillips caught six passes for 66 yards. Dontrell Hilliard, Hilliard caught three passes for 61 yards. But where were Robert Woods and Westbrook Akine? Each caught one pass. Uh, man, getting rid of A.J. Brown looks extremely – well, not paying A.J. Brown, I should say, looks extremely questionable now. Uh, you know, there's only so much heavy lifting that Derrick Henry can do, uh, 21 times for 82 yards. The pass rush was the pass rush was strong despite the loss of Landry, sacking Danny, times, Danny Dimes five times and hitting him eight times. I expect the loss of Landry will show more and more as the season goes on. Jeffrey Simmons had a pair of sacks. Imani Hooker had an interception. But the defense was gashed for 394 yards by the Giants. And they lose A.J. Moore to an injured ankle, their safety in the first quarter. Bills on extra rest after that impressive 31-10 win at the defending Super Bowl champs. Overcome four turnovers and win by 21. My God, 9 of 10 on third down, 417 yards of offense. Josh Allen was just in control. 26 of 31, 297 yards. Ran 10 times for 56 yards. Stephon Diggs, eight catches for 122 yards and a touchdown. Gabe Davis, four for 88 and a touchdown. Singletary at eight. Carries for 48 yards. The defense looked unbelievable. They sat Stafford seven times and hit him 15 times and picked him off three times. And Vaughn Miller has brought a lot of – he's really sparked that group, man. It was a great group already, but four tackles, two sacks. Rams had 177 yards of offense before that final meaningless drive. Uh, they did lose Ed Oliver to an injured ankle. Uh, he tried to play through it, which means he, he could be good to go here Take it away for us. The first Monday nighter on our double header, Andy Titans Bills. Yeah, it's it's probably too many, probably too many points, but man, boy howdy, it's a tough, tough ask to beat this defense with the uh, receivers they have. I feel like I've had to say this about so many teams, like they don't have any receivers, and uh, I mean that's what you get. Like somebody pointed out in the chat, uh, Traylon Burks is probably their best receiver at this point. That's true, and he didn't even get a ton of usage. He wasn't on the field for chunks of the game. He, it's not like he got a lot of snaps, and he did get, uh, but he did get targeted when he was out there. So maybe something to look for if you're fantasy DFS or whatnot, but. It's it's a good defense that we're worried was going to drop off. I don't think that happened. The Von Miller thing is is working out to, despite a you know little longer in the tooth. And Tennessee they they looked bad against a much worse quarterback with a worse receiving core, a better running back. I'll give them that. But overall, like just a much worse team. And they let them back into it. And I really worry what's going to happen when they face a better offense, a better defense, and a team that's super rested. Six and a half in the first half. Uh, this is a team that starts out fast. Last year, this was your fourth, I believe, fourth highest scoring first half. They averaged 14 points. Uh, per game in the first half, which was best for, I think, fifth in the league, if I remember right. It is a team that does like to start out fast. They understand just getting out to a lead is your best bet for winning a game. Like it's just there, There's a weird stat about that. It's It just it really matters who's up at, at halftime. 
I get, it says that's very, you know, it's a very apparent, like only having to play half the game with a lead is easy, but really, really, really a lot of signal to teams, that, even with smaller leads into the half. Like, and I think they understand that they get out to these quick, quick leads and they just let, uh, let it coast. And the defense is good enough to do that. So it's minus six and a half first half uh, against a team that just doesn't have receivers. They really have decided to fully sabotage Tannehill, I guess. Yeah, I, I like this look. Uh, you can get – it's up to you. You can get the six at minus 109. Let's give you that. Minus yeah, six. sure. Yeah, I just kind of – I haven't bet this yet. I'm waiting for some other books to open first halves. I, I like this. I like this. I, I am – I do have a, a little bit of concern – with the weather, uh, you know, I'm, the Titans would love it if it was pouring rain. That would be the best situation for them here. So I, that, I'm going to take another look at that and look at a few different sites. But but I like this look. I think they take care of business. Uh, Alex saying, remember, Bills lost the Titans 31-34 last year on a Monday night. This, Yeah, and, and look, we all just watched them beat up and dominate the Super Bowl champs. But uh, Ray Charles says they're going to smoke the Titans. Hmm. All right. Uh, Saturate says, how many times have there been five, 10 plus point spreads in a week? Yeah. yeah there's a, a lot of double digit favorites. It's not a fun week to cap, but we're running so hot. That is game one of the doubleheader on Monday.